Like you can see why Soto is in no rush to sign an extension with the Padres. We don't even know if there's been talks with Soto, but Manny's getting 400 from someone. What is Soto going to get? 500? He's not going to be asking for just 400. Yeah, match Manny on him fine. He's four years younger. And what if he has two MVP caliber seasons before he hits free agency, right? That seems like 500 is not out of the question. So you, do you want the Padres paying $500 million for Soto? Or do you want them paying 400 for Manny? And Otani, who can do both. There's already been reporters talking about maybe Otani gets $500 million when he hits free agency after this season. Would you rather give Otani $500 million? Would you rather give Manny $400 million? All right? I think Otani can hit the $400 million mark. I don't know about five hundred, million, but... I think it will at least be $400 million. It's going to be massive. We've never seen a talent like this hit free agency in this, like, you know, era of big spending, right? So Manny is going to cost the least amount of money, I think, among the three players, Manny, Otani, and Soto. There are advantages to having Soto over Manny. There's advantages to having um, Otani over Manny. But which one? Which of the three? I want two of the three, but if we can only have one, which of the three are you having? 